I still had a few more cards that were supposed to come in this week, but I don't feel like waiting anymore. So I'm just going to put away what I have right now. This is mainly from a Mercari Japan package, but I've bought a lot of cards off Instagram lately. So I've been waiting for those to come in. I showed this binder last time, but I didn't make the cover for it yet. This used to have my Sully collection, but I actually got a new binder for Sully. I think I'm going to set that up in this video as well, but this is the cover I made. And in here, I'm going to put my Chewan collection again. She's been in a two pocket and then back to my A5 binder. Then I moved her back into a two pocket and now she's back into this binder. I think it just works better for space. The binder I had, I only had like a few pages left because I did get some more Chewan Man album stuff for Ice One. I don't think I would have had enough room for another comeback. I just decided to move her in here so I have a lot more space. I'm almost finishing Anti Fragile today. So I have all her photo book cards. So the ear doesn't full. And the Midnight Onyx. I wanted to have all the photo book cards together, but I wasn't really sure what to do with this is the Weavers card, the QR one. And I put it here because it matches this outfit, but it's kind of random because then I have the compact cards, all four of them here. And then I have the Weavers and then the other compacts, but I do have this compact card. And I did just secure the other two. So I should be getting those by probably the next time I store photo cards. So, and then I do have her last unit with Unchained. I usually like to have units at the end, even though they're part of the compact version. And I do have some Fearless Japan cards. Oh, this is one of the solo jacket cards. This is the other one. This one's a gray back, and then this one's the black back. But they're both from the solo jacket. Wait, did I even? And then I also have her standard version. And then I did get a lucky draw. I think it's the UMV lucky draw. I'm pretty sure it's in one of these outfits. And then I have two units, both the pink units with Sakura and Yunjin. Yeah, I also have her Unche and Kazuha unit secured. So I should be getting that next time as well. I did run out of pages. Like I don't have any more of these because when I moved my Chewon collection from this binder into this binder, I needed a bunch more of these four pocket pages, but I completely ran out. Her not all the stuff is still in the other pages and I did buy some more. So I should be getting more pages in like a couple days. I was going to wait until I got them, but I was impatient. But I did have this page of Rikinos because I'm not sure where I want to put them yet. The other collection I have in this binder, I decided to put one of my smaller collections right now, which is Yu Young from Triple F. And I pretty much have all her cards except for one, which I did secure like yesterday. So I'll be complete with her collection. So I have her for Acid Angels from Asia, their first debut subunit thing. And I like that they have numbers, so like <laughs> they kind of have an order. I'm still obsessed with their debut. And I'm really excited for what they're going to do next, but I don't really know. I feel like the next thing they'll do is the crystallized unit. But I feel like even the company doesn't really know what they're doing. All her cards are so, so pretty. I think this one's my favorite. Moving on to Assemble. I have three of the four cards. Or two of them were selfies and then two were like those lenticular things. But this is 208 and I have 207 secured. And I think Tua is my favorite. It's the one in the fuzzy outfits. And then these are the lenticulars, which I don't really know how I feel about. I double sleeve them just because they're skinny and they like move around. So hopefully this prevents them from moving around. I hope they release the song that lost to Rising. They have like a bracket thing where fans can vote on what song they want to win for the girls to debut with or just release in general. And the song that lost to Rising was my favorite, so I really hope they release that. Either as like a B-side or for their next full group comeback type thing, or debut, I don't even know. <laughs> this is just the backing, cause this is kind of temporary. I ordered more of these as well, like backing and front pages. And then this is temporary too. I will change this later. So yeah, that's it for this binder. Next I have some of these fan-made Sully cards. So I'm gonna put away my Sully collection in that new binder I bought. This is the binder. I'm sure you've seen these. I feel like every collector has one of these, but I think they're really nice. I like how smooth they are, and this pink is really pretty. I'm also planning on decorating it, but I don't have the stickers. I bought stickers for it, so I'll decorate it soon. I also put little, like, other freebie cards I have. I don't know why I put that one there. 
these are all the pages. I just took them out of the other binder so I could just stick it back in here. I wound up in here since I know these rings were smaller. So I thought it would fit better for her collection because I don't really have much else to collect for Sully. At least that what I can find. I do get fan made cards sometimes, but those don't really take up that much space. I have this little photo card holder. This is one of the fan made cards I got and I put it in here. So I'm just gonna stick it on this. I'm definitely gonna redo this and decorate the inside. This is where I'm gonna put these cards. I do also have another set of family cards coming. They're the Love Myself photo book themed. They're photo cards made from the photo book concept of her Love Myself photo book, which is really, really hard to get and like pretty rare. I hope to get it someday. And even if I have to pay a crazy price, I'm probably gonna buy it eventually. I think this binder is like perfect for this because I wanted to give her her own binder, but having her in one of these binders, there was just a lot of space left over since these rings are bigger. This is like perfect for the amount of cards I have. I guess I just have one card for Chokumi. We got some good news for WJSN, which I wasn't really expecting. I really thought they were gonna disband. It's crazy that only two members ended up not renewing their contracts, which I kind of thought meant that they were leaving the group. Dawn and Luda just left Starship Entertainment, so they can still be in WJSN. I don't really expect them to release music anytime soon. They've only been having one comeback a year since 2020, and Aside from like the subunit stuff, I still feel like they're probably not going to have much group activities anymore, even if Dawn and Luna still can be in the group. But I do have this Tower Records Super Yuppers card. I really want to get the rest of her Chokumi non-album stuff, but it's just really hard, but I'm glad I could find this one. I'm interested in seeing what the girls will do moving forward. I feel like this is the time where a lot of them will start having solo careers, which I'm really excited for. I also really am interested in seeing what Bona's going to do. I feel like she'll probably stick to an acting route she's been really popular with that lately i want her to be a soloist so bad i could see her doing something like blue moon by yongri from she was in nine muses that type of music very excited to see what they do next still holding out for a choke me comeback especially since it's still possible this binder is now just my sulky binder since i have the most cards for her out of like any of my other collections and i only have a few cards today but i bought pretty much all the cards I needed except for two so I'm pretty much only missing two cards for her. I did decide to collect a four pocket page of pre-orders. I did get two of them. I have the Mixtar one which is the one I really wanted in this outfit and then I think I have the SM Town Global Shop one. Some SM Town one. I think she's doing my peace sign. I do kind of want to collect more non album for Sulky especially since I have a lot more room in this binder. I do have her Pink Christmas, one of the trading cards, the season's greetings and then I do have her birthday card photo card merch thing they did season's greeting merch for some reason they always do that but they did a collect book and the photo card that's at the front of the collect book for sylgi is so cute she's wearing like a suit and glasses i really want to get it i was gonna buy the collect book but i don't know why i didn't the only things i have are for smcu and then i have one stamp on a card but these are the two smcu palace cards i have so the palace version which honestly isn't even that expensive anymore it really wasn't that bad to get. I've been kind of struggling to find this for a good price, mainly because I don't want to pay over like $11 for it. So that's the cheapest I've seen is $11 for the membership version. I also have the the ID that came with it. I already put it away in my Bigger and Queens binder, but the set it came with came with the actual like membership version. So I have Silky's ID. I'm just missing the guest version. And then I did secure almost all the stamp on it cards. I'm just missing the one with the heart cheek, which has been the most hard one to find so far from what I've seen. But I have this one stamp on it card and I'm just gonna put it here. I have all these and the SM Mini also on the way. That's it for this binder. This is the binder that used to have my J1 cards. As you can see, there's a lot more space, but now I keep Yujung in here and it works out perfectly since Pretty much all of their albums have only two photo cards, so it looks really nice. And then, or I guess for your underground idol, it had six, but the concepts match up. And then this is where I put it, Soul Collection, which I was kind of disappointed at. Soul Drift is probably my least favorite title track from them. That being said, still very good. It's just not my favorite of all of theirs that they've ever released. It kind of sucks that we only technically got three new songs, Blue Blue Soul which I thought was gonna be a title track. 
I don't know where I saw this. It was on like K-Town for you. It said that Blue Blue Soul was supposed to be like a double title track with Soul Drift, but I think I was just spreading misinformation on the internet. I also thought this card was gonna be a selfie, but it's not. But the cards are still really cute, so I will be getting them soon. I decided to put the photo book cards. They're technically kind of albums, but I just put them in the back here because they didn't really fit in with the, the layout I had. I do have some really exciting cards for this binder. I have nothing for Luda, but hopefully, I don't know if she's gonna like re-sign with a company maybe, or like have her own independent company. Either way, I hope she comes out with like photo card merch. I would definitely collect all of it. I hope she has a solo debut. For Zoe, I did end up getting her run cards. They got secured. It took almost a month for them to get to my proxy. So I was kind of scared they were gonna get canceled or lost or something, but they made it. And these are some of my favorite cards from her. I think this one's definitely my favorite. This also cute. She wrote another essay on the back. That's kind of what I miss about the old cards because in the new cards, aside them being really flimsy, they don't have a message back. But it's okay. But I have this last one from version B. And then also they released a second press card, which I think I did secure. I didn't know it was a second press card. I thought it was another pop, but I should have that coming next time as well. I ended up getting two more pre-order benefits. And I have two more on the way, or technically one, because I think one of them was the second press card. But yeah, these are super cute. I have one where she has like a bubble gum in her mouth. And then I might just put the second press card here just to fill the space. Or I might get another pre-order benefit. I don't know, I'm trying to like not go crazy, but these cards are so cute. So this collection is my CSR collection. I had Stoa in a mini binder, but that one ended up breaking. This whole front part just came off minus $15 like what the fuck I really like the layout of this so I have the three cards from the first album and then the second album I think I'm going to collect four pre order benefit photo cards for each era at least for Sua I did that for Yuna as well who I'm also collecting they just announced another comeback I think it's called Delight but it's like orangey themed it's really really cute so far I just let these blank for now because I am trying to look for a card like a specific card that I really want even if it will be kind of hard to find but i'm just leaving it blank for now just in case i find the one i really want and then for yuna i have it set up the same way and then i did get two cards from their debut and then two cards from 17 and i'm not sure if i'm going to keep collecting pops for her i'll probably end up collecting a few i'm really tempted to collect my top four because it would be perfect in like the four pocket layout my top four is sua yuna duna and yehem i think but then if i collect top four it's like I might as well just collect OT7, which I've been thinking about. I think I would collect it like this, and then just have like a blank spot here. I'm gonna wait until, if I really, really like their newest comeback, and I might wait for a while for those cards to come out and see how many. And I just have two cards for this mini non-album binder. And I think I put spaces in. Yes, I have this Kimla trading card. It's the one with the orange from whatever this is. I found this one for a good price, so I thought I'd just get it. This next card is a prayer from this group that I really love, but I don't know if I'll ever collect them, but I love Elvis or Alice, they go by now, and I think Yukin is my bias, and this card is so cute with her little bob. I've always wanted to collect them, but their cards are kind of hard to find. Some of them are harder than others, but I always see other members, but I never see many of Yukin. And she's someone who I want to collect, but I'm really considering just buying a bunch of random Elris cards and having like a random binder for them. They're like definitely one of my top groups, but they're just a little bit more difficult to collect. Oh, and I'll quickly show where I put some other collections that may be missing. This is where I'm keeping my Hanum cards, but I think my Hanum collection works better for this type of binder. So I just have her random cards here, and then they are having a comeback soon, so I'll probably get a few cards from that. I'll probably get pre-orders. Her pre-orders are always really, really cute. This is the longest my natural nails have been in such a long time. I need to take them off though, because next week I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. And apparently when you go under anesthesia, anesthesia, you're not allowed to wear nail polish because I guess if you're like dying, they can tell because your nails will like turn blue or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to cut my nails. If I don't have nail polish on them, they are more likely to break. This is the last binder I have stuff to store away in. And this binder has my soloists and then random album cards. And for soloists, I have two new soloists I'm actually collecting. I've been wanting to collect them for the longest time. And the first one is Yukika. 
who I've stand since she released Neon, which was like her debut basically. And I have all her albums, at least the physical ones. I did want to have a page to represent Soul Lady. So the ID and then a little message thing. And these two stickers. I have another one, but it didn't fit in the pocket. This one kind of sticks out too, but I did want to have a page of Soul Lady. I might not keep it in here, but I like it for now. And then for Time of Out, there's eight cards. This is the Time Light version, and these were my pulls from the album. I just have this card. And then I'm still missing this one. I have it on the way. I got it in a trade. And then for Time Blue, I already had this card. It was one of the pulls I had from this album. But I still have the other one, which I regret now. But I did buy this one. So I only am missing these two now. And then the other new collection is an idol I've always wanted to collect. And she's from a group that I really, really love, but they did disband. And it is Lovelies, Ryu Sujung. I've always been a fan of Lovelies. I really like that type of music. And Sujung was always my bias. She released her solo debut back in 2020 with Tiger Eyes. And I was obsessed with that comeback. I decided to collect her because I saw some of her cards on Makara Japan from some of her newer releases, some of her merch cards. And I just decided to get them. And I thought I might as well just collect Tiger Eyes since there's only three photo cards. And then to fill the last spot, I decided to put a mix star there. So I have this one photo card. This is one I got from Makara Japan for really cheap. And I will have the other three I traded some of my Isa cards for. There's four make stars, but I just decided to pick my favorite one since I don't want to collect everything for her, just most of her solo stuff. I love this song so much, and I had no idea she released merch for it. And these cards are so cute. Also the backs. I really hope she does another thing like this soon. I also found out that she released these like Christmas house merch cards. I thought they were so cute, so I decided to get them just to kind of add a little bit more to this collection. This one's definitely my favorite. Also this one. <laughs> I've really been interested in collecting more soloists lately. I find that a lot of the best soloists come from groups that are either still active or disbanded, or those are the ones I'm normally drawn to, like a lot of the Eyes One Girls. There is another collection I'm kind of considering. I've been thinking about maybe collecting Kai's solo albums or photo cards, I guess. I have some of his albums and I'm just in love with his music. He just released Rover and I'm such a fan of this like reggaeton trend. I don't even know if it's a trend, but so I kind of want to collect Kai, just his solo photo cards. He has quite a bit already, but they're all really, really cute, especially his first mini. These were the six trading card things. And then to fill the last two spaces, I decided to get two of these little Polaroids. I think there were nine of these. But yeah, that's the start of my Sujun collection. I really hope she releases more music. She has been releasing music, but it's mainly digital releases, which are also really good because I am obsessed with her voice. And then nothing for Woods, but he probably will be having a comeback since he just released a pre-release. And I have one card for Yuri. I did end up only keeping these eight photo cards for Glassy. And then moving forward, I'm just collecting two for Era, unless the cards are like really, really cute or I'm really obsessed with that album. But I have this one in the blue hood. For this section, I have some really exciting cards. I've been really enjoying just buying random cards that I think are cute. And one of them is this Devil Nyon. I've been eyeing this for a while. I know it's one of the more highly sought out cards or whatever. It honestly was not that hard to find. I found it on Makari Japan. Twice Coaster Lane 1 is one of my favorite Twice albums. TT is probably top three of my favorite Twice title tracks. And I think Nyan's my current bias. I could not pick a bias in Twice. I think it was initially Jihyo, and then it was Jonghyun, and then it was Nyan, and then it was Momo, and I think it's Nyan again. But also, Cheong has the best cards, and I really, really like her. <laughs> yeah, once again, I don't think I'm ever going to collect Twice fully, but I like getting random cards from them here and there, because they do have really, really cute cards, especially the Twice Coaster ones. I also have this Lovely's Sujun card from Are You Ready, which is probably my favorite Lovely's album. This album is so fucking good. And this card is so funny. They took a Polaroid of one of the members' hands and they're holding it up to her face so it looks like it's slapping her. <laughs> I also do have the other one, but I put it in the top loader. I am kind of thinking about collecting Sujong's Lovelies cards. I know it wouldn't be that hard, but I know they are a little bit more difficult to come by. It's just not a priority right now, maybe in the future, but yeah, I just have it in the top loader on my desk for right now. <laughs> also, there's a couple blank spaces. Just ignore those for now. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do with some collections. I might drop some collections. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But I do have this Ring Pop Chaeyoung. 
Taehyung has probably my favorite card from Twice, and Fancy was absolutely her era. Also, it wasn't too bad to find. I know that card's also pretty popular, but I think I just have insane luck. Speaking of luck, I said this one. I was able to get a trade for it for one of my ISO cards. I have Cherry Chetty from the 12 o'clock album, which is the last album from Luna I really enjoyed. I thought 12 o'clock was great. I love Why Not? And that album as a whole was really good. But after that, it kind of went downhill for me in terms of music, but this was like a really high priority card for me. I'm glad I got it. And for this page, I have this Ning Ning card from their Savage album, which was a card I used to have before I sold my Ning Ning collection. I love the Savage album and I wanted to have something from it. Also, the space one's really cute and I love Ning Ning still. The Zoe Run cards I bought also came in a set with pretty much all the other cards with the other members, except for one unit card. So I technically could have collected OT4 for the Run album, but I do want to limit myself on sets that I collect, but I decided to keep these two for Liso and Yo. I do have a Rena card, but it's from Rose Blossom, so I decided not to store that one, but I do have it back here somewhere, so <laughs> I just have these two Ren cards because I thought these were the cutest. I do have this Duna card, and it is so hard to stop myself from wanting to collect her. I really, really love her cards a lot, and basically I'm only missing one card to complete the album because I also have her 17 Anne card, so I'm only missing one from 7272 but they are having their new comeback so i don't know how many cards that will be i'm assuming probably either one or three again i kind of hope they do four so i can like fill out a whole page but yeah i also have her 17 and card and then i do have this yenna love work card in my last drawing photo cards i know i had a section for yenna but i decided against it again i still do want to collect a few cards for her but i just don't really want to commit to collecting things i don't know that's kind of what this section is for. And then lastly, I have this Jiwoo card from Triple S. This was my other album pull since I bought a set of their albums. And this card's really cute. It's in the fuzzy outfit concept. I also kind of want to collect another member of Triple S. I think I would either collect Cheyeon or Dahyun maybe. I also left a space for Aiza for Teddy Bear. I did kind of stop collecting her because I think I only have like... I sold off most of her cards. I still do have a few for sale. The way I go about collections and how I decide to drop or collect things is like two criteria. Basically how often I listen to that group's music and how often do I keep up with them and like watch their other content. And for Stacey, I don't really watch their content. There's a few songs that I always have on my playlist, like no matter what, like So Bad, Stereotype, Young Love. Those songs are permanent residents on my playlist. But I don't really listen to them that often, and I wasn't really excited to collect. I was excited for their new album, but the thought of collecting was just like not very appealing to me. So that's why I didn't really feel as bad uh, dropping her collection, just because I didn't really feel like it anymore. I kind of pick and choose what I collect. I've changed my mind a lot too. That's all the cards I had. Bye!